Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Christine gave Danny Romolotti the kiss he had been waiting for. On Monday, December 4, 2023, Phyllis witnesses a passionate kiss between Danny and Christine in The Young and the Restless recap. Highlights of The Young and the Restless recap. This episode also had Phyllis berating Summer for keeping her out of her life. Following their ordeal, Victoria and Cole discuss the likelihood that Claire is their daughter. The Newmans debriefed each other. Billy was finally persuaded by Jill to come back to Chancellor Winters, and he desired Chelsea to act as a sounding board. Let us now examine what transpired in more detail. Danny shocked Christine at the jazz lounge by playing a demo of a brand new tune. She enjoyed it so much that he had her listen to it through some headphones. While dining together, Danny discussed how Phyllis, Michelle Stafford, rather than Christine, had been one of his ideas for new songs. Christine appeared irritated to hear this. She quickly got over her annoyance and started making jokes about having to give Phyllis royalties. Summer and Chelsea continued their conversation about her personal life and career on the patio at Crimson Lights. Phyllis approached the two women, who instantly clammed up. With haste, Chelsea went, and Phyllis went to join her daughter. The fact that Summer kept icing Phyllis out didn't make her happy. Though Summer wasn't really clear what her mother expected from her, she hosted a self-pity party. She ultimately acknowledged that she had been ignoring Phyllis, of course, and talked about how much she wanted chance to make her feel lightheaded. Summer paused when Phyllis encouraged her daughter to pursue her goals since it didn't seem like the new and improved Phyllis TM. Summer acknowledged that it didn't sound quite like her new self, but Phyllis reminded her that life wasn't long. The ladies made the decision to eat dinner at the GCAC. Before heading off, Christine begged Danny in the lobby to email her a copy of his new song so she could listen to it once more. They shared a kiss as they said their goodbyes, and when Phyllis and Summer entered, Phyllis didn't seem happy to see her beloved in Christine's arms. You may recall how these two recently rekindled their romance. Victoria, Cole, Nick, Nikki, and Victor had a debriefing at the ranch following their ordeal. Victoria said that she felt bad for Claire for being mistled for so long, even though Victor and Nikki believed Claire had just as much responsibility for their predicament as Jordan did. Nick, Victor, and Nikki remained at the ranch and talked about the circumstances while Victoria and Cole went off to talk. Nikki saw that she kept staring longingly at the drinks in the room as they were talking. Nikki acknowledged that she felt bad for falling for Claire's trick, but they comforted her that she had done nothing wrong. Victoria and Cole discussed the idea that Claire Grace was the daughter they believed they had buried a long time ago on the patio at Crimson Lights, read about Peck discussing the drama of his return to Wally and R. They both felt that they had to know the truth, which probably meant reuniting with Claire and taking a DNA test. Jill didn't hesitate to inform Billy at society that she needed him back at Chancellor Winters. Why? Because Jill believed Memmi had plans for the business, she found herself suddenly without allies. Naturally, Billy loved his job at Jeboat, but Jill put a lot of pressure on him, Keep in mind that Billy and Lily split up shortly after he left Chancella Winters. Jill attempted to push Chelsea out the moment she entered, but Billy invited her to come along. He informed her that his mother had made him a job offer. They talked about everything, and Jill informed Billy that she needed his support, especially with Ashley Kyle and Diane supporting Jack at Jibot. Spoilers for the upcoming week of December 4 on The Young and the Restless indicate that Danny Romolotti prepares a special evening, but for which woman? Michael Baldwin shows Phyllis Summers a surprise. Nate Hustings is targeted by Tucker McCall. In addition, Lily Winters confides in Nick Newman. Highlights of The Young and the Restless spoilers. After coming home from her terrifying ordeal, Nikki Newman is tempted to drink, According to Y and R spoilers for Monday, December 4, Victor Newman promises to exact retribution in the meanwhile. Jill Abbott will question Billy Abbott in Monday's broadcast as well. 
Chance Chancellor will inform Sharon Rosales of his choice somewhere else. Spoilers for Tuesday, December 5 of Y and R. Victor cautions Devin Hamilton about making apologies with Nate on Tuesday, December 5. Victoria Newman must make a difficult choice about Claire Grace. Also, Daniel Romolotti Jr. tries to adjust to Heather Stevens as his new normal. Spoilers for Wednesday, December 6 episode of The Young and the Restless, Tucker McCall's new target. The Restless and the Young Wednesday, December 6 spoilers state that Tucker considers his options for enlisting Nate. Lily confides in Nick. Victor also starts to worry about Nikki's sobriety. Thursday, December 7th, I and R spoilers. Fans may anticipate Billy telling Jack Abbott some distressing news on Thursday, December 7. Is Kyle Abbott involved in this in any way? In the end, Otter Charles did call for Kyle shortly after he was chastised for arriving to Jabot hours later than scheduled. In the episode airing on Thursday, Devon will also be seen assisting Lily in a serious situation. Tucker, in the meantime, mediates the conflict between Memmie Johnson and Jill. Spoilers for Friday, December 8, on The Young and the Restless, Michael Baldwin's Surprise. Phyllis will be surprised by Michael on Friday, December 8. Christine Williams has a romantic supper prepared by Danny. Ashley Abbott will not back down from a confrontation with either Jack or Billy. Jack and Billy seem to be concerned about Ashley's feelings for Tucker. Which plot will you be most interested in witnessing during the week of December 4, Regarding Michael, Phyllis, Christine, Danny, Daniel, and Heather, what are your predictions? For Lily, Nick, Victoria, Victor, Nikki, Claire, Tucker, Ashley, and the other citizens of Geno City, what does the future hold? According to Y and R spoilers, Victoria Newman is already conflicted about Claire Grace and everything she's been through. Although Claire's actions have undoubtedly caused chaos for the majority of the Newman family, it is not entirely her fault. Claire was duped by Aunt Jordan into believing that Victoria and Cole Howard weren't interested in her. From Claire's vantage point, it appeared as though Victoria abandoned little Eve Nicole Howard, like trash, and then embraced her other cherished children. Claire lived a completely different existence from the one she would have had with the Newmans because of Jordan's manipulation of her mind. Even if Claire made some poor decisions as an adult, Jordan never equipped her with the knowledge or abilities to make wise decisions. Keeping all of that in mind, Victoria will want to attempt establishing a relationship with Claire once it is most likely confirmed by a DNA test that they are mother and daughter. Victoria will want to attempt making up for lost time, but it will undoubtedly be difficult. Naturally, the first priority will be to resolve Claire's legal issues, which will undoubtedly enrage Nikki and Victor Newman. Claire will, however, feel herself liberated, which will allow her to approach Victoria and attempt to form a relationship with her. What would happen if Victoria and Claire ultimately gain some trust and Victoria wants Claire to meet her younger siblings. At that point, Y and R might run a foal of Billy Abbott, who will be fiercely protective of the kids he and Victoria had together. Claire has shown herself to be extremely dangerous, thus Billy might forbid her from meeting Johnny and Katie Abbott. If Victoria feels that Billy is preventing her from providing Claire with a true family, that may cause quite a rift. Additionally, Johnny, who was adopted by Victoria, might feel neglected in favor of her new biological child, which could cause additional problems for him. As Johnny's worried biological mother, Chelsea Lawson would be a wonderful addition to the narrative in this way. In summary, the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Victoria's choice to give Claire another chance will result in serious issues, so check back for updates on any new developments regarding the family conflict. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.